Here's our guest list for this episode of Studio Jams. Jazz master and guitar legend, Pat Martino. Innovative, multi-Grammy award-winning banjo player, Bela Fleck. Smooth jazz recording artist, Rick Braun on trumpet. Internationally acclaimed jazz bassist, Gerald Veasley. And producer, composer, and master percussionist, Rayford Griffin on drums. Now sit back, relax, and enjoy some fresh new music on Studio Jams. Coming up, the jam session was the ultimate way to kind of show your stuff, to, to really measure your progress, as a, especially as a young musician. I mean, it was playing some of the jam sessions here in Philadelphia was a great way to kind of see where you are in comparison to your peers or the guys who were more accomplished. It's quite a challenge for me to uh, participate in something that I used to do under different circumstances. I, I stopped playing for close to 10 years and uh, I've been relearning how to play again. So now I, I'm just hoping that uh, I can participate with as much excitement as I vaguely remember I used to. It can be a lot of fun because everybody's just creating and you don't know where you're going and sometimes that's the, the most fun of it all, It's not knowing where you're gonna end up and then you end up in this great place. It's like, ooh, gee, didn't know that was gonna happen. It's always fun to get together with great players and you've got some of the best players around, you know, in this room and just see what happens. It's always something special. It's always something that uh, is a once in, once in a lifetime situation no matter what because it's, uh, it'll never be the same. You know, it's always just a moment in time captured. Right? That's kind of neat, you know, it's, it's very, very nice, especially in this uh, pre-packaged, processed world that we live in, to have moments like that caught for posterity. Instead of a 2-5 um, a, a from D7 to G to C to F, we can play it like D7 sharp 9 to G7 sharp 9, yeah, to C7 sharp 9 to F7 sharp 9. How many, uh, bars? Or you can even do it as, as D7 sharp 9, D flat 7 sharp 9, uh, C7 sharp 9, B7 sharp 9. Chromatic. Chromatic. So two I bars each, right? I guess. Two bars each. Yeah, the way it was before, mm -hmm. the way it's yeah. original. Yeah. But mainly in, in terms of the. Uh, In terms of in terms of uh, the beginning of a different voice coming in a different identity like you, yeah. uh, why don't why don't we just break it down and just and uh, and let it be with maybe uh, you by yourself cool. and and uh, uh, possibly just pedal tones underneath. Cool. And I'll and I'll give him some room on that and then and then we can start the time at, at the at the letter B at the bridge and bring him in for a solo yeah. oh, that's from that point cool. just, just, just change the texture more, just change the texture a little bit people might attribute some of the lines that I play to me, but they're actually very influenced by Pat. Certain lines that I do, and I'm influenced by a lot of guitarists, but Pat is certainly one of the, one of the big ones. Wow, what a legend. What, a, what an amazing uh, you know, player, too. And I, I, had no, I didn't even know who was going to be here today, so I walked in like, wow, <laughs> you know. I've known Pat for a number of years. First of all, he's a great human being. Above and beyond the musicianship, just one of the sweetest and giving most generous people that I've ever known. Um, and he's a true 
legend on the guitar for good reason. Uh, he's someone who's earned it twice, someone who's come back and, and relearned playing and, and topped himself, and just someone who's on that quest. Someone who's already a master, but still on the quest to, to mastery. You, know? you have to respect that. And I was also thinking, possibly in the very front, maybe me and, and Bella could start off. Yeah, sure. Just improvising against the C minor. That'd be nice. Just, it, could, it might be nice if you and I were, uh, I don't know how I feel about this, but it's kind of fun sometimes to sort of solo simultaneously and sort of it's my go idea. on after, you know, like a, you do a accent and I kind of follow it and we kind of interweave and get in each other's uh, brains a little bit. It might be nice sure. to do that. I'd like to. There, we might like to trade a little bit, but also <laughs> weave. And, maybe so fun. if we start with a vamp, possibly, huh? Um, yeah, in, in time. Out front. Vamp out, out front. front. Vamp out front on the C minor. With a little rhythmic figure. Dum, ba, dum, 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 dum. That's kind of cool. One one little thing I can't really hear um, yeah, that's a little Rick through yeah. the headphones. Here. I'm hearing me so. Can't really hear Rick Do you turn my little unit all the way? Yeah, I got you. Because yeah, I can hear me so. Oh, really? Yeah, I'm really going. hearing it. You guys must have some other rig going on or something. something at the end where we get the I'll take the first okay you take the second okay Bella takes the third okay and then maybe we can do something contrapuntally against each other okay you know that would really be nice and have and have um, have the rhythm section and just drop pedal tones underneath Counterpoint before we go to the last head after my solo is that the idea? You said Bob said something about a counterpoint. Yeah, we could do that. Okay. And that's where they would be hitting these. Uh, they do these accents when we come out of that into the last. I'm with that. I'm with Actually, into the last. Okay. Yeah, that's fine. That's, that's 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 great. I just wondering where that would happen. Like the counterpoint would be hard to do over that, I think. Okay. Or the three of us. Against that. No, before that. No, before that. Okay. One time through the One time through. And, and then after and then we head. do that, then we do the head. Yeah. Then we do the head. Yeah. So three solos. Three solos, then I a, count, a counterpoint for us. And then this yeah. hits. Okay. And then next song. Oh, same. Sounds good. Okay. Yeah. All right. Thoroughly. I think we've got to find it. Do you want to practice the ending a little bit? Bow. Yeah, the ending, the middle, the beginning, all of that. Well, the, the rest of it I think we can let happen, but maybe the ending we should practice. So what? I was saying, we just work on well, the Well, you ending. only want this at the end, this little thing. This, uh, these yeah, yeah, so let's just do it at the end as okay. a surprise. Very cool. So, you want to come from the last chorus or from the last, uh, the last bridge into this or something? Well, let's just do it, let's, let's do it together. Yeah. From the, from the head itself. Okay. Okay? Yeah. As many times as it takes. Cool. One, two, three, four. Thank you. 
complete groups like this to me. I mean, if it's all 16, I mean, there's a tendency for the, the plucked hey, instruments to play a lot of fast stuff, and it's a real job to play lyrically, which we all try to do, but a lot of times we don't pull it off as well. But instruments that are vocal, like like horns, for instance, or even violins, it, na it just comes naturally to play long notes and hold them. It's, it's breath, you know? We're all digital. It's all digits going, but it's different. How about the chicken? You guys know that one? Um, you could do that one. Or, uh, or, or I could do cold duck time. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's a cool about uh, improvising is um, interacting with uh, other musicians that throw surprises at you and knock you off of your um, your natural approach you know what I mean and so for, for me when you can actually meld into each other and move towards each other in, in, a, in an improvisation it's 
is the most exciting for me. In, in other words, rather than each person just doing their thing, you know what I mean? It's just like they would if they were home practicing. When, when, you, when you hear something and you go, oh, I never thought of that, and then you go, okay, I'm gonna try something, and then pretty soon you're all locked in. And that's, that's sweet, it's a great experience. I never know what's coming next, and today's a good example. Uh, you never know what's going to happen next, so it, it's not good to practice uh, what you really are not aware of what's going to take place. It's better to keep an open mind, and I think that's a form of practice as well. So that when you go into performance, you know that it's going to take care of itself, and you have a clear point of view in terms of the ability to listen to other players who you're interacting with and not so much achieve what you thought you had to achieve. Why don't we put this, why don't we put this between the solos? What's that? This thing. If I do like a, a, a C, uh... It should come in there, not an additional section. It should right. Be, it should just be at the end of the solo. At the end okay. of the solo, you see what I'm saying? And stop on four. So let's going. try let's try a solo form and then cue us just so okay. we know what's going on there. Okay. We could have uh, we could have those chords be like underneath the drum feature mm -hmm. for one thing. We could play if if I did this form that we just did where I cued those chords, yeah. then Pat could play second over the F, mm -hmm. and then out of his solo we could go into those chords. Okay, so you would yours? just play on F and then you cue me to start soloing over. Mm -hmm. So you're saying my solo is only going to be on F? Yeah, F minor. Yeah. Unless you. Unless you would like to play on something. I'd love to play on those changes. Yeah, 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 See, everybody wants to play on those, so... But, I mean, if, if it's, uh, if it's well, better for me just to stay on the F, I'll do that, too. Then when we come back in, we'll just start to come in with the... The order of solos is you first. Right. Who's second? Well, we'll stay with Ella second. Ella second. Why don't we go through the solos one time? Let's see how it feels in terms of the cues. I want to okay. see yeah. how you cue each other. <laughs> Phrasing that like as such. Two, three, four. One, two, three, four. How are you, how are you phrasing that? <laughs>
Ready, cameras? Rolling. Rolling.
when you are unique you know everybody one of the, one of your main aspirations in playing an instrument is to find your own voice so Bella is someone I think the highest compliment you can pay to a musician like that is they have their own voice not just because of the banjo but what he does with it and that's the ultimate that's what we're all seeking